Okay, free agents. So the free agent season is almost upon us. Yeah. July 1st. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, or you already know, uh, give me three free agents and where they're going. Let me go first. Let me go first. Okay. God, gee, I know I have exactly where this is going. I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. I have a good idea. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rebuild. You can just go hang out with a bunny. I'm going to rebuild. Give me some pizza. Oh, yeah, there's pizza. Uh, Montreal's center. Ice. Oh, who just could possibly get, be available? Who could be available? Who could be available? Who could be just available? Get out of town. I'm just gonna. So, Mr. John Tavares. Yes. Oh my is God! Going to be bollocks coming to bollocks. Montreal. Boo, boo. We're going to pay him boo. ten boo. million dollars boo. at least. At least, maybe ten point five. Yeah, I'm gonna boo you out of town. But boo. he's coming to Montreal. Is he signing the eight-year max? Our number one. He can't sign an eight-year with them. Because he's UFA? What can he oh, sign? Oh, right. He's UFA. Yeah, he's right. UFA. He can right. sign eight. Oh, geez, we'll give him eight again. years, ten million bucks. Do this. Okay. And then, whatever. He, he can still hear us anyways. Eighty million, ten years, or eight yeah. years. Yeah. Carey Price, same thing. Name shows. And then Tyler Bozak is also available at the end of the year. Okay, where is he going? Montreal. He's Montreal. rebuilding the center. I'm rebuilding the center ice position. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm really right? okay. Yep. John Tavares to Montreal. Tyler Bozak, we're going to give him... $5 million a year, mm-hmm. and Lars Eller is going to come back from Washington after they lose in the second round, and he's going to center our third line for $2.5 million, $3.5 million. Yeah. and then Maxim Malpair is going to come back from the Swiss, Swiss League, and there, boom, Bob's your uncle. Kovalchuk's coming it. from the KHL. For uh, <laughs> Kovalchuk's going to go to... Well, I'll, I'll tell guess. you where he's going. I'm going to guess. I'm going to write it down. I'll tell you where he's going. Mm. Do you want me to go? I'll yep. go. I wrote it down. Okay, so I've got three that are coming. One of them, let's start with Ilya Kovalchuk. I think he's now out from under the New Jersey. He owes nothing to the Devils anymore. Right. He can sign as a UFA anywhere he wants. Yep. I've got Kovalchuk going to the New York Rangers based on the cap space. New York C. NYC. Oh, NYC. Okay. That's what I said you were going to do. New York City. Yeah, I think I've got Kovalchuk going there. I think I could see him signing. He's 35 years old. I could see him only signing about a... A two-year deal. Um, I want four and a half. Anywhere from four and a half to five and a half. I'll give him five and a half. Eleven years. Two years is eleven mil. That's where Kovalchuk's going. My uh, my second one is Mike Green. I think they're gonna have to. Uh, Washington's not gonna be able to bring him back. Um, he's Detroit's not gonna sign him. Um, so I think he's gonna go to the Oilers. Oh. I could see a three-year, eighteen million dollar. Keep him at six mil cap hit. Three-year, eighteen million in in in, in uh, Edmonton. And then I got John Van Riemsdyk, JVR. It was pretty pretty apparent that Toronto's probably going to part ways with a guy making that much on their third. He was even playing fourth line minutes in the last What's six, he game making? six, seven. Four, five? Yeah. Um, oh, 4.25. I think somewhere in that range, 4.25. So what I think JVR is going to come to Ottawa. We need a left winger. Oh. Three years, 13 and a half like- million. So the reason that I say that and everybody laughs is they did the same thing with Clark MacArthur. They brought MacArthur over when he well, was sort was of a having a bit of a... success. It was a resounding success, and I think JVR is in the same sort of position. I think Ottawa's in a position to spend the money if they want to keep Carlson. They're going to have to do something. So I'm hoping that they look at JVR. He can bring us another 20, 20 to easy 20, maybe 30 goals. Look at all of JVR's goals. Yeah. They're all dirty goals around the net. Yeah. He's always trying to put He's in the good between spots. his legs. Yeah. He's always trying to get it... Like, Within that crease, he's probably one of the best in the league. I just uh, think Anders Lee, thank you very much. Four goal scorer, you're welcome. I Home. think uh, I think Lou Lamorello could do more with that money um, instead of burying a guy like JVR into the uh, third or fourth line. So Cass I could see Captain, him coming. William Nylander. Yeah, I could see him coming to uh, to Ottawa. So those are my three. You know who else comes off the books in Toronto? Joffrey Lupo, five point two five million dollars Good off man. the books. That's big. Yeah, they're clearing a ton of cap space in Toronto. It's insane. Yeah, yeah they're also calling for. G- All right, what do you got, Mitch? I've got, first off, for my Islanders, we need a goaltender. Yes. True. So I went and got Carter Hutton. Good. Out of St. Louis. $4 million salary. Three years max, I think. Um, two years would be better, but I think four years. garson has been preaching patience with um, their prospect, Linus Soderstrom, who's coming over from the SHL. Yeah. A guy they picked up in the third or fourth round. The, the, or second the round. Finnish fella? No, he's Swedish. Yeah. Swedish. Swedish. You're thinking of Sebastian Aho, who's also Swedish. But there's also a Sebastian Aho in Carolina who is Finnish. Oh. That's right, there's two Sebastian Ajos in the league. Ours plays defense, Carolina's plays forward. Anyway, so Carter Hutton to the Islanders, 
$4 million over three to maybe two years. Next is Evander Kane. Yeah. I've got him going to Vegas. Really? Big time. They've got money to spend. He's exactly what they need to compete in the West. Replace a guy like James Neal, who's probably not going to be there. Well, why younger, would you do that? Why would stronger, you? better. He's only 26. Yeah. He is quietly only 26 years old. So wait, does that, that doesn't make him a UFA, then that would make him an RFA. So they would have to offer sheet him. Correct. But Which I think they can't do. let him go. With the way that he finished the year, the way he's like It depends on what they're going to do with the rest of their team in terms of paying them. I, he might stay. I just see him leaving. Joe Thornton's a UFA at the end of this year. Yeah, he's not. He's, he's done. That's done. It's over. Yeah, Joe Thornton's finished. Yeah. I'll see. And my last one is John Carlson from the Washington Capitals. I True think he stays. number one. Defenseman. I think he stays. I think True he stays. I like that. I think, yeah. he, I think they're going to re-sign him. Yeah, they, they, they can't let him go. No. They, if they do, then there's no defense in Washington anymore. I still remember John Carlson scoring that goal in overtime against Canada and the World Juniors to win the World Junior gold medal. I remember where I was sitting when he scored that goal and being really upset with him. Real sour, Darcy. Real sour. It was probably 2000 and... I want to say it was probably 2008 or 2009. That old well, nine. It wasn't nine. It wasn't nine because they won. They beat Sweden, so it might have been ten. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. 2010. Um. So those are my three. That's all I've got. Right on. Those are good. Well, fellas.